Today, we're going to multiply and divide some decimal numbers. Let's start with multiplication. Unlike addition, subtraction, and division, we don't need to align the decimal points when we multiply. We count the number of decimal places in each factor to determine where the decimal point goes in our product. In this example, we have a total of three decimal places, so our product will also have three decimal places. We'll see this in a minute. Now we multiply according to the standard algorithm. Notice I don't have any decimal points. We need to multiply each digit in the first factor by four, starting in the rightmost column. Now that we've multiplied each digit by four, we'll do the same process, but multiplying by five. We'll write zero as a placeholder in the second row. Since five times two is 10, we write zero and carry the one, then continue multiplying. After multiplying, we'll add both rows. Now it's time to add our decimal point. Since we've had a total of three decimal places in our factors, we must have three decimal places in our product. That means we have a decimal point between the nine and the two, making our product 49 and 248 thousandths. Now let's try division. When dividing by decimal, we need to make sure that our divisor is a whole number. Our divisor in this problem is 67 hundredths. To make that a whole number, we would have to move the decimal point two places to the right, making the divisor 67. This means we also need to move the decimal point and the dividend two places to the right as well, making it 45,560. Notice that we added a zero before the decimal point. Since 67 cannot go into four or 45, we can ask ourselves, how many times does 67 go into 455? Since 67 is close to 70, I know that 70 times six would give me 420. So let's try six. 67 times six is 402. 70 times seven would give us a product too large, so the first digit in this quotient is six. We'll then follow the division algorithm and divide, multiply, subtract, then bring down until we have no digits left. Next, how many times does 67 go into 536? By estimating, we find that 67 goes into 536 eight times evenly. Notice we still have a zero in the dividend, so we place zero as the last digit in the quotient. Our quotient for this problem is 680. Let's keep practicing multiplying and dividing with decimals. Push pause while you complete each task. You can do this on your own. Write it out. Writing out steps in a process can help us become more comfortable with using them when applied to more challenging problems. Write out the steps to multiply and divide with decimals. You can do this with a partner. Roll a die five times to create a three digit by two digit multiplication problem. You get to decide where the decimals go. Have your partner solve your problem and you can solve theirs. Let's try a challenge. Write about how multiplication and division relate to addition and subtraction. You did a great job multiplying and dividing decimal numbers. Until next time. Did you enjoy this video? Bottle has more awesome learning content delivered through amazing 3D games. Sign up today.